Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Hoyt, Hoyman Tree Saws, Lone Wolf Tree Stands, Nikon, Ozonix, Redneck Blinds, RTP Outdoors, Spot Hog Releases, Wasp Archery, Viking Solutions, and Realtree. Hey guys, October 22nd, and uh, Brad and I spent the morning in the office, and we're not hunting this afternoon, but we're checking cards on a few different farms. Right now we're back on this farm that I introduced about a week ago, the one with cattle on it, and the one that I'm going to turn into a big project, and for that reason I'm going to call this the project farm. That way, um, you know, people want to follow along with this story, you know which farm I'm on when I mention the project farm. So, this will be the first card pull. I put out six cameras last time. Um, not expecting a whole lot. I didn't find a bunch of scrapes. Did see some deer. So if a good buck shows up, it's just a bonus right now. Uh, but it's going to take a while to learn this. So I'm going to start pulling cards. Uh, anxious to see how much, how many cows we have. And now apparently there's horses here too. There's some horses just up the hill from us. But uh, it's always exciting having the first card pull on a new farm. So uh, let's see what we have. There's a good crossing right here where this fence is down. Dude, that's a shed right there. It's gotta be. Dude. Look at that thing. That's a good shed too. Right on this beat down trail. Not a single two mark on it. Discolored obviously. But solid. Good mass. Look at that brow tine. Just nothing like finding sheds on October 22nd. Oh my. <laughs> Just buried in this grass right here on this fence crossing. <laughs> Gosh. This place might be okay. I know. <laughs> Dang, that's awesome. All right, so I'm setting up a little cutty link system right here. It's gonna be a little small network of three cameras. And this is really a, a perfect situation for this particular spot that I'm staying in is the most accessible. Uh, we can drive right up to it. It's on the cattle pasture, but there's a scrape right out in front of it. So basically gonna just set this up uh, to where this is going to be a home camera. So then I'll deploy the other two down in a thicker cover down below us um, so they can daisy chain back to this home camera. And then all I got to do is pull this camera and those pictures will get sent right here. So it should be perfect for minimizing the intrusion down in the bottom where the thicker area is where we could definitely bump deer every time we step foot in there. Um, so I'm going to try it, but really there's no better setup than, than what this is. It's going to keep us out of there pretty good. All right, so I'm putting the first remote Cuddy Link camera up, and I just got my map just to measure it for fun, how far we are from the home camera, and it's still got pretty good signal. It says 32, 34 now, but we're 1,358 feet away from the first camera, so just a little over 400 yards, which is pretty good distance. Uh, I was happy I was able to get this far away. This is an internal fence running through this property designed to keep the cows out of this side. So I'm going to put it on this fence post. I'm going to create a mock scrape right here, but there's already a really good trail going by. Uh, so I like to have as many factors in my favor as possible when setting up a camera, but this should be a good spot. And I love that it's on Cuddy Link. We can stay out of here and get the picture sent way up the hill to us. Well, this setup is killer. I love how this looks. Can't wait to see what's on this first card pull from this spot. Um, I've talked about it before, but I've had really good luck creating my own mock scrapes like this with the branch coming out. This one didn't quite have a spot where I could hang it down straight, but it'll still work really good. It hangs out almost to the trail. I was able to find, it, find an oak branch 
uh, not too far away to cut off and rubber wire onto here. Um, but I've had good luck with this. We just actually got done pulling cards on a, another new farm. And uh, it was my first card pull on it. And there's multiple mature bucks, uh, at least four that I would say are mature. So it was a really good card pull already today. And we still have all the cameras left besides one to pull on this farm. So um, hopefully we can finish the day strong. We're gonna go find another spot for this Cuddy Link camera. Well, we uh, kind of got sidetracked. Uh, just found a really cool spot on this farm. It's super thick. The cows don't get into. Tons of just beat down trails. Cool creek system that we can access. So it was about two hours of just loving every second, trying to find where I could hunt different trees and uh, just seeing how the deer move through it and what types of things kind of dictate their movement where. And it wasn't until Brad reminded me that it's about to get dark if we don't hurry. We still have five cameras to check. So uh, this is camera number two. Chasing does around. And a good looking deer. Better go get that one. You spotted her. <laughs> Brad was shed number two on the day. This one's a little bit chewed, but still a solid antler. Cattle pasture bucks. That's awesome. Two sheds on October 22nd. <laughs> No way. <laughs> it can be. It's a shed. <laughs> <laughs> oh Go my gosh. <laughs> this is crazy. I've never experienced anything like this. This thing is uh, a little bit smaller, but that's shed number three, and all we're doing is driving around in the buggy checking cameras. <laughs> Dude, this is nuts. <laughs> I had to stop. I mean, now I think everything is, and it was. All right, day two on the project farm is complete. Once again, we spent way too much time here. Uh, meant to get to another farm and pull cameras, but not gonna run, not gonna have time now, but I'll gladly take this. It's, it was a crazy afternoon finding sheds on October 22nd. You know, like I said, second time on this farm. One really good one here. Uh, Brad spotted this one, and then this is our third one. And all these were just riding on the buggies, checking cameras, basically. We weren't actually walking anything. Um, but more than that, more than finding the sheds, just exploring the property more, found some really good areas that the cattle don't go into and the, the deer sign is just thick. Um, super, super good bedding. Um, some really cool access spots through the creek that we could potentially get in and hunt on different wind directions. So, man, I, again, I could spend so much time trying to figure this out, but this is probably the most excited I've been all season um, with the flooded properties and losing access and all that. Uh, this farm has some serious potential, so I'm really excited to, for this. And once again, I'm going to keep you guys posted on everything I do on this farm to try to learn it and then hopefully to try to improve it in the off season. So this is going to be called the Project Farm. This is day two, and uh, I can't wait for our first hunt out here. <laughs>